All right, let's look at uh, chapter 5 in Doctrine Twisting now. We've uh, moved through the question of Jesus and God uh, and uh, the, the Revelation. Now we move specifically to one area that the cults have difficulty with, and that is the resurrection of the physical body of Jesus. Now you'll hear about Jesus being raised from the dead, but uh, what kind of body he has in the resurrection is, uh, is questionable. Now not all cults even believe he is risen from the dead, uh, but uh, some do in a spiritual sense. And so let's look at that together, uh, number five, uh, chapter five. Jesus' resurrection was it his actual body. And uh, a statement from one of the early church fathers. Now we ask how anyone imagined that our animal bodies to be changed by the grace of the resurrection and become spiritual. It is clearly absurd to say that it will be involved in the passion of flesh and blood. By the command of God, the body which was earthly and animal will be replaced by a spiritual body, such as may be able to dwell in heaven, even on those who have been of lower worth, even of contemptible, almost negligible merit, the glory and worth of the body will be bestowed in proportion to the deserts of the life and soul of each. But even for those destined for eternal fire or punishment, there will be an incorruptible body through the change of the resurrection. Now that statement is an unfortunate statement. And it's a statement that came out of Origen. Again, many of the things Origen had to say were really very good. And much of what Origen had to say, though, was clearly off base and unorthodox. Origen was even condemned, as I've said here on this paragraph on page 84, he was condemned at the Fifth Ecumenical Council in Constantinople in 553 for his teachings here. Teachings on what? The pre-existence of the soul, universal salvation, denial of the physical resurrection, the physical nature of the resurrection. So, uh, interestingly enough, the pre-existence of the soul and universal salvation is really what Mormons hold to. And origin then would get along fine. And the physical nature of the resurrection they have no trouble with, but uh, these other things are very close to uh, some other heretical views. Remember, Origen's hermeneutic was not solid. You get no more out of biblical interpretation than how you approach the text. If you end up with heretical doctrines, largely it will be because you followed an improper method of hermeneutics. That's why at the seminary we make a point of, of starting off your program with hermeneutics because if you don't know how to approach the text, you end up with all sorts of crazy ideas. 